right, folks. Time for another video. And shave. Okay, well. It's kind of a noisy day in my house today because all the grandkids are over. And, uh, yeah, but you know what? Time for shave. Well, the other shave that I did uh, last time was... Uh, Barrister and Man's Reserve Spice, which is a lovely scent. Um, and I usually, how I store my soaps is usually by artisan. I'm going to have some scattered here and there, but usually I keep the soaps kind of grouped in my storage by uh, artisan. So when I was digging out the uh, Barrister and Man uh, Reserve Spice, I came across the, uh, across the Barrister and Man Leviathan. Now, this is a seasonal scent, according to most. But for me, I don't play the seasonal game, and you know that. And I felt like, oh, you know, after I was uh, sniffing this the other day, I said, you know what? This would be a great scent any time of the year. So I don't know why, you know, everybody's stuck on the seasonal game. But whatever, um, you can see here at the bottom of the label, if you can see that. It is coffee, sandalwood, and Russian leather. Now, I know there is no tobacco in this, but I get a hint of tobacco. M must be the leather, but mm. I get a little bit of that hint of tobacco, even though there is none in the scent profile. Um, I will pop up the ingredients here. Boom. For you guys. And you can scope out the ingredients. I'm not 100% sure which formula this is. I know this was... This was I can't speak today. I know there were a couple... couple see? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe because it's Monday. But I know there were a couple of uh, versions or revisions of this formula. But I'm not sure which one this is. So, can't help you on that. I do love the label. It's the, I think, the latest label. The older label. I used to have the original label. This It was just like a Leviathan kind of snake or lapped around the label. This is a little different. Anyway, let's get this shave cruising. I already got the Leviathan lathered up here in my timeless ball. And I'm using the PAA Peregrino brush today. With the old Roswell knot. And that lather's looking nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm be using the Parker Variant today. The Parker Variant. And I'm on setting number three. I have little... I've colored in my numbers there because I'm blind. And you can see the blade gap on number three there. And the blade, I'm still playing with those Persona Reds. The Persona Platinums. <coughs> Excuse me, got a little tickle there in the throat. So, I got a brand new one in here today. And we'll just wet the face. Just out of the shower. Hair is nice and still soaking wet. I'm just going to go with a little bit of that. Whoops. I knocked something else into the sink. <laughs> and I got a long, long hair on my hand here somewhere. I'm going to go with the little pre-shave Kubi that my granddaughter made. She's recouping there with her <laughs> broken leg. She's actually hopping around a lot. On the one foot. <laughs> the air conditioning is a pumping. It's in the high 90s here today in New Jersey, so. Alrighty. Should have put a different shirt on. This one's a little tight up in the collar area. All right, just putting a little glycerin pre-shave there, the homemade that my granddaughter made me a while back. And then we'll just go grab the, what stuff is slick? 
We'll just grab the Levi Le Leviathan from Barrister and Man. I kind of mix it up on the dry side today because I want to add some water to the brush. It has such a great scent. I don't know who ever came up with the, well, it's seasonal. You could only shave with it, you know, if it's the correct season. Puppy Kosh. If it's a scent you like, use it year round. It's your face, your scent, I mean, your nose. <laughs> shave what you like. Nobody says you can't use a pumpkin spice scent in the middle of the summer or whatever. Just because it's not fall or winter. Shave with whatever scent you like. Nice. This is some glorious lather. Nice sheen to it. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing. My electric bill is going to be stellar this month. Air conditioning has pretty much been going non-stop now for weeks. Alrighty. Let's go with the Parker Variant. Just add a little more water to my sink there. It's looking a little low. Anyway, Parker Variant. Persona Red. Setting number three. With this lovely scent from Barrister and Man. Leviathan. This is another razor that doesn't get enough airtime on YouTube. A lot of YouTubers that shave, or I think the nickname is a wet tuber, <laughs> rarely use the Parker variant. This was one of my first adjustable razors I bought. I believe the Mercure Future was the first one. You know, a razor that I do need to eventually pick up when I can afford it would be the Mercure Progress. What was always, always holding me back on picking up the Cure Progress was I don't really like the look of that plastic handle on the bottom, that little knob. Now I know for some more moolah I could get the Murgress, which is the progress with a custom aluminum knob at the end of the handle. Now, I pretty much I think I've seen Chris at IMCDB shaving with one of those in the past. I'm not sure if he uses if he has used it recently. Sorry, I can't speak today. Don't know why. Maybe because it's Monday. I 
feels really nice. I'll tell you what, I got a hats off to the uh, Persona Red. It really seems to tone down some razors. Not that I find the Parker variant aggressive, but you can really feel the blade with the uh, razor, but this with the Persona Red in it, the Parker variant's really, really smooth today. I mean, for me, I just like setting number three. Sometimes I do go up higher to like a five or a six, depending on how much growth I have. And I usually leave it on one setting for the entire shave. A lot of guys uh, will sometimes tune it down when I go to other passes, like pass two and three. I'm going to leave it on three. Now the residual... Slickness on Barrister and Man is very, very good. Alright, well, might as well use more lather since I definitely have more. Oh, one thing I did notice. A couple YouTubers that left have come back. Not going to mention any names, but good for them. I'm glad they're back. Don't really know why their reasons for leaving in the beginning was anyway. But I couldn't stay away because this is such fun. I find it fun and basically for me it's very therapeutic because it kind of keeps me busy especially if you're stuck at home Yeah, the Persona Red in this razor is definitely uh, nice and smooth. Like I said in my last couple of videos, I'm not sure if I've used this blade with this razor before, but it's kind of why I'm trying this out like this because I've noticed that this razor blade is been very very nice in a bunch of different razors wow that's smooth I have minimal Usually here I have to hit it smooth. Just got a little bit here. Just a little tiny bit. Might have hit my chin there because always chasing that BBS. But I think I'm going to be good here. Yeah, oh, yeah. Smooth even in the areas where I'm not usually smooth. All right. Let's empty the old sea monster sink. Wipe down the wet counter. Ooh. And Sigmund has spoken. Very, very 
loud today is the sea monster. All right, let's do a little cold water rinse. Oh, that feels good. That is smooth and still slick. You know what? I'm going to go. I'm going to see how close this shave actually was. I'm going to pull off some alum. So I'm not going to going to wipe off my hands because they're slick. But it's going to go with some alum today. Use the old Omega, which is getting down there now. It's getting kind of tiny. <laughs> I do have more of these. But let's go with the old Omega alum stick. Well, I'll tell you one thing. So far, not really any feedback from the alum. Except right here, or I think I did kind of maybe get myself, but I feel great. And this will definitely take away any slickness that was left on my face. All right. That was the Omega Alum Stick, which is getting down to a little nub Getting down to a little nub. Omega alum stick. Good stuff there. All right. I just kind of let that sit on my face for a little bit. I'll just go over product again real quick. Okay, so that was Barrister and Man. Leviathan. Good stuff. Mm. Even though there is no tobacco, I get that little bit of hint of tobacco. I think it's the leather, the Russian leather that's in here. So, it's such a good scent. And I love that label. That's a cool label. And Razor Tay was the Parker variant on setting number three. And you can see that blade gap there, I think. There you go. All right, brush was the Peregrino from PAA today. And got the old 24 millimeter Roswell knot along with the timeless bowl. Alrighty, let's rinse off this alum. I'm an alum rinser. I don't leave it on. I like to rinse it off. Now we'll grab the old Lancaster towel, which was... <laughs> Just heard a weird noise. Which was on sale over the last weekend. On Saturday, I think it was the 18th. And I uh, hope you got yours if you were looking for one. I know they were there in different colors, plus there were some razors. He had a whole bunch on Lancaster's Razor Works Etsy page. Little secret, I did pick up another one just to have it. Maybe I'll use it in a future giveaway. You never know. But I was able, I was able enough. See, I can't speak today. I was able enough to pick up another one. So who knows? Maybe it'll be a backup. Maybe it'll be used for a giveaway. We'll see in the future. Okay. So, what I feel like putting on today after my shave is, even though that's, you know, doesn't have any, keep on saying it, you know, any tobacco in it, but I'm going to put some Lothario on today from uh, Zingari Man, some bomb, which is uh, their bay leaf tobacco and uh, bergamot. I just was in the mood for a little bit of tobacco at the end of my shave. And this will do fine. Zingari bombs are awesome. I love the scent of this. The re-release of Lothario was Essentials. Which I don't know if it's still available, but 
I do love the scent of this. For me, this is a great match with the Barrister and Man Leviathan. Plus, you got Leviathan, Lothario. Hey, why not? All right, that feels awesome. It's the one thing that I really like about Zingari's aftershave bombs are they soak right into the skin. Good stuff. And it is a good matchup with the, I believe, with for my nose, with the uh, Leviathan from Barrister and Man. Okay, so if you enjoyed today's Barrister and Man's Lothar, uh, Lothar <laughs> excuse me, Leviathan shave today, yeah, the soap was Leviathan. And the poke shave was Lotharia. A little confusing there for my brain anyhow. But if you enjoyed today's shave, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. And please subscribe. Um, when we get up to the little numbers, there'll be another giveaway. I have other things maybe, you know, planned for the giveaway. But uh, yeah, so thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not, please subscribe. And until next shave. Glenn signing off.